Hi all the signs of the zodiac, I'm Pam and welcome to your mid-month psychic tarot update for August 2017. This month I'm using the Dame Darcy Mermaid Tarot deck and remember these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you you would need a private reading. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, now into your mid-month psychic tarot update. First sign I'm starting with is Aries and Aries the first card you have is the Three of Cups and the Three of Cups to me is parties, gatherings, celebrations. It could be a celebratory conclusion to something going on in your life. You could be attending a party, throwing a party, or this could mean three friends, three sisters, three females. I hear you're going to be doing something different. It's like you're going out of your way. Uh, it could be about a party. Maybe you're doing something different and you're throwing a party. But uh, whether it's a party or just something going on with you, Aries, you're going to be doing something different. You're going to be changing it up, switching things up. You may have some people that want to stop by and say some things to you. And some of them could be bearing gifts and presents. So it could be a party. Maybe you're retiring or you're having some other kind of celebration and people are going to give you gifts. Um, but I also get people stopping by. So if you have a website or a Facebook page, you could have a bunch of people stopping by to that if you have your own business. Uh, but it could be people also stopping by to your house. That could go either way there, uh, Aries. Someone needs your assistance or your help. And I feel someone is going to be asking you to do something for them in the month of August. This may, you may be totally willing or you may feel like you don't want to do it. I don't really know how you're going to feel. Uh, I just get somebody's going to need your assistance and they're going to be asking you to do something for them in August. There is going to be some group or community spirit around you in August and you could be doing something in a group. It could be a group meditation that could be going on. You could be taking a class. This could be something you're just attending like it could be a creative project where you're all doing some kind of artwork or it could be a metaphysical class or something. I mean, I can't, it's general, so I can't really tell you what the group is and the endeavor is that you're going to be doing, but I do feel it's fun. It's something you're going to enjoy. It's uh, like peaceful and happy. I don't feel like this is drudgery or something that you don't want to do. The person that asks you for assistance, they could be asking to borrow something from you. They could be asking you for money. They could be asking you to do some kind of service for them as well if there's some kind of service you provide. So the second card you have here in your reading for the mid-month of August is the devil. And this could be an addiction to drugs, alcohol, sex, spending money, gambling, eating, chocolate, pornography, uh, online shopping, gambling of any kind, I don't know, smoking cigarettes. But it could also be uh, being bound and trapped to an unhealthy relationship or addicted to an unhealthy relationship or bound to an unhealthy situation and circumstance as well. You have got to get yourself out of this rut you're in. There's some rut that you're in. Now, some of you Aries may say, uh, well, I don't know if I'm in a rut. But if you sit around and think for a moment, there might be one area of your life that you've kind of gotten into a rut. That's what I'm getting. This is symbolic of, at least for the first message. You do really need a break from reality, Aries. It's like you need some kind of getaway, like to take a trip, take a break, get away, um, or get away, break from reality. I feel like maybe there's been too many, too much tumultuous things in your life lately or uh, where you felt hard pressed or upset by events that have gone on. And if you have any vacation time coming to you or if you're able to get away on a short trip, I do feel that would be beneficial to you because I do hear you need to get away and get a break from reality. 
you know, uh, some of you may have some secrets that come out of the closet. There could also be family secrets involved. Uh, some of you, it's not secrets at all. It's just family members or people connected to you knowing how to push your buttons. So it could be symbolic of some kind of disruption. It could be um, where either, like I said, family secrets or things that were kept hidden come out in mid-August, either be, either your stuff or somebody else's, um, or there's going to be people nitpicking or bugging you or pushing your buttons, and don't underestimate the power of the eclipse on August 21st, because that could stir up a, a lot of positive things. I'm not saying no, but there could be some disruptive things as well. Some of you are going to feel like you're reaching your limit with some people in the mid-August or at some point in August and you're going to have to put them in their place and tell them how it is. Like, give them the facts. Like, here it is. I'm laying it out for you. Um, so there might be some people who areas you want to put in your, you want to put them in their place. Some of you are going to be going round and round in circles in your mind as to whether you should actually do this or not. But I do feel many of you will actually follow through and do it because it's like you're reaching your limit, your boiling point, and it needs to come out and be done. So I hope these messages made sense to you, Aries. Please stay tuned at the beginning of the month of September because my psychic tarot readings at the beginning of every month are much longer this is just the short update so now on to Taurus and the first of the two cards you have Taurus is the seven of swords and this could be somebody lying to you deceiving you um, stealing something from you um, anything like that or you could be the one doing it actually either way it could go you know I do feel that there's either a group of people or a person that in August, you're trying to give the benefit of the doubt. And I'm hearing the message from my guides that you shouldn't. So, like, it's like you're trying to push aside your own psychic ability and intuition that crops up that you can already sense and know that you shouldn't be giving them the benefit of the doubt, but yet you're doing it. And the guides are saying you shouldn't give them the benefit of the doubt. Your intuition or any thoughts you have about a group of people or somebody if these would be people you'd be involved with or a person you should not give them the benefit of the doubt I feel like someone's trying to hornswoggle you and give you some kind of like double talk like don't don't buy into it like there or like somebody's talking to you out of both sides of their mouth like they're telling you one thing they're telling you another um, they're trying to get something over on you I feel so be very cognizant of that Taurus, it, it, you know, maybe somebody that would surprise you. You know, you might think I'm talking about some coworker that's shifty or some relative that's known to be a problem and do weird things. For some of you, it may be. But I feel for some of you, it might be somebody that's not glaring at you that it would be the one that's doing it. So think on that message there. You have some kind of completion of a project and an ending in August. There's something you're finishing. It could be a script you're writing, a book you're writing, a production you're doing. Um, it could be a theater production you're in. It could be a show that's wrapping up. It could be uh, a project or plan that you have around the house, a renovation or something that work is asking you to do, a project. Whatever it is, there's an ending, a completion, and you're wrapping something up in August. Uh, also be very cautious of any people, groups of people, or person, but it feels more like more than one person, that come out of the woodwork to like spoil you, uh, really boost up your ego, tell you how great you are, fluff you up, want to give you money or praise or this or that. There's some agenda or something weird behind it. I'm not trying to ruin it for you. Uh, but I really want the Tauruses out there to pay attention to their intuition about people in this month of August. Next card you have here is the Hierophant, or Hierophant, however you want to pronounce it. And this is God giving you blessings or a warning. This could also indicate higher education and higher learning. You could be the student, you could be the teacher. But again, as I said, this can be you getting some kind of blessing or warning from the divine source. 
you're going to rework things and rewrite things very carefully. There are going to be things that are going to be reworked and rewritten involving you and what you're doing, working on. It could be wills, scripts, assignments, uh, I don't know, but it's about rewriting things comes up here in August. If there's something that comes up by chance and it's a risk, my guides are saying it's going to bite you in the ass. Don't do it. It's something's going to come up and bite you in the butt. A little, seriously, like if you're like, okay, this is a risk. This is a chance. Am I going to roll the dice? I think I am. And it's going to pay out. The guides are saying, no, it's not going to. I know that may sound weird, but you have to think about maybe somebody wants you to invest in somebody. Don't do it. Maybe somebody's telling you, come aboard and we'll be partners. Don't do it. What, like, but it would feel like a risk or a gamble. And to you, it feels like you're going to feel like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm game for this risk or gamble. I don't feel it would be wise. But you have free will, Taurus, and you can do what you want. You don't have to listen to me. Some event is going to take you by surprise. It's unexpected. It's going to pop up and it's going to surprise you. And it's going to make it so that you have to travel back and forth between two places over the course of the next six months. It could be a new job or maybe you need to help somebody out or it's just a temporary gig you're doing. I don't know. It's general reading, Taurus. So just keep that in mind. But it's going to be surprising. It's going to be unexpected. It's going to pop up and it's going to make you have to travel back and forth between two locations over the course of the next five to six months. Some of you are going to have stars in your eyes and you're going to feel like either you've met somebody that's blowing your mind and blowing you away, romantically speaking, or you want to meet somebody that blows you away. I can't tell. Some of you have met them. Some of you, it hasn't happened yet. But they're talking about stars in your eyes, about somebody that you've met. So hopefully those messages made sense for you, Tauruses. Now on to the sign of Gemini. And the first card you have here, Gemini, is the hanged man. This is being in limbo, not moving forward, not moving backward, being in suspended animation and having to draw from your own psychic ability and intuition when you're in that limbo state. I feel like there is something you're trying to figure out and you're like mulling it over and you're, mud you're muddled up about it. And it's like you're looking to others to give you the answer or to give you the inspiration to give you the push you need. But I feel you're frustrated because I feel like you're not getting that answer or people are not pushing you in the right direction enough yet to motivate you. Or it could even be if you're hanging in limbo about something, it may not be just that you're looking for guidance or, or a push or inspiration. You could also be looking for somebody to help you with something or people to help you with something and they're not. So you're kind of in a wishy-washy limbo state about this. You know, it, there is some kind of uh, damaging beliefs or thoughts that were, uh, um, you know, like uh, self-depreciating thoughts you have about yourself or things that you're like self-critical or not liking about yourself or, or berating yourself could be over the past or past mistakes. My guides are saying you need to let that go. Don't do that anymore because what if you're one of the Geminis that's doing that, like self-negative thought, self-negative thinking, it's not doing you any good. You know, some of you Geminis are going to have a secret admirer. Some of you are going to have an affair or a romantic fling with somebody you may, have, may work with or you may have worked with them before or it could be somebody you know from your past. Could even be a new person. I'm not saying they're not new. But the way the energy is coming up, like, I feel like you know them already or you're connected to them. I don't really feel so much like it's a new person coming in, although it could uh, be. But I get, like, a romantic fling or affair comes up. Also, some of you may have a secret admirer where somebody starts sending you, an, you know, emails or text messages or you don't know who it is or they send you flowers or they say something to you and you don't know who it is because I get some of you, it's a secret admirer. You may feel if you're working Gemini or it could even be at home and in a family situation like you're the troubleshooter. 
everybody's coming to you with all their issues or problems and piling them up on top of you on your lap and expecting you to be the troubleshooter and solve everything. Some of you Geminis may feel like that in August at some point. Here you have the Knight of Swords as your other card. This very well could be you, Gemini, because this is either a Gemini, an Air, uh, Aquarius, or a Libra, Sun sign, Rising sign, or Moon sign. Could also be some kind of message coming to you about truth uh, or untruths or you know wisdom. Could be something like that. Some of you are giving a big party. Some of you are, are going to be at a big speaking engagement. Uh, could be like a seminar or, um, I don't know, seminar is the word that comes up the strongest to my mind. But a lecture, a seminar, a presentation, uh, some of you are going to be doing something like that. Some of you could be volunteering. And you could also be getting involved in some kind of self-help group. Uh, maybe you're maybe you want to try therapy or traditional therapy or you're going to some kind of group where people are meeting I, I'm not really feeling like it's AA but it could be something like AA or it could be like a group where people uh, you know like a, a therapy group where people get up and say I have this issue or this problem and other people you hear other people's issues and you guys all talk about it that's possible for some of you Geminis. You're going to capitalize on something in August because I get there's a great big boost to your income. So you're either capitalizing on the income boost in some way or that's the way it sounds. But I get capitalizing on something because there's a big boost to your income. But uh, maybe the fact that you already have capitalized on some plan or some project before, now you have the boost to your income. It's coming up. You just need to listen to that part again. Watch out for stomach trouble, viruses, flus. I know it's weird to say that this time of year because, uh, well, at least here in the United States, it's summer, but that can kick up. So I see some of you having like, either a 24-hour virus or a stomach flu or a bug or could be like food, po food poisoning. So make sure you have all the kinds of supplies at home to combat those issues because that could happen for some of you in August. I'm not wishing it on you. Don't be mad when I say a health thing. I just repeat what my guides say, so don't be mad at me for that. I do not wish ill health on anyone. That when you're doing the troubleshooting that I pick up that uh, and having a lot of responsibility stumped on your plate, I do see other people bickering. So you may be troubleshooting because like I did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, that could be in your family, it could be in work, it could be in some group you're involved in. So just think on that, Gemini. So now I'm going to look into the sign of Cancer, and the first card you have, Cancer, is the Five of Cups. And this could be sadness, loss, and regret. This could also be you dealing with someone that has trouble with alcohol. You could have this problem as well. Or it could be, um, you know, just sadness over some kind of loss uh, or, re or having some regrets in some way. I do feel that some cancers are going to feel like they're experiencing too much loss and that you can't cope with it in some way. So this could be maybe you're a person that's had a lot of family members pass away in the year of 2017 or recently. Or maybe you've had loss in multiple ways. Maybe you lost your job or you lost a friend and then maybe you lost a loved one and then you lost something valuable. I mean, loss is a lot of things. And so I see you um, feeling like you're having struggles or difficulty coping with loss it could also be because we do have two powerful eclipses this month, especially the one in Leo on the 21st um, of August and one we had in Aquarius on this, uh, the lunar was on the 7th. So this could be kicking that up for you uh, and could be kicking up loss because eclipses can often eclipse things out of our lives. You could be telling off somebody that you used to love or that was very important to you in your life. You could be telling them off um, and you may not feel the same way about them anymore. 
This could be a lover, a spouse, a boyfriend, a girlfriend. It could be someone you just cared about, a family member, anybody. But it's somebody you cared about a lot. And I feel like you never thought that you would have gotten to that point where you had to tell them off. But I do feel that you may have to do that. Some of you cancers, not all of you, this is going to be only, it's a general reading cancer. Remember, and if what I'm saying isn't making sense to you, please watch your rising sign and your moon sign. There's been too much arguing, uh, backstabbing, bullying, carping about stuff. You've been uh, involved in it and witnessing it and part of it. Now, it, each one of you, your situation is going to be different, but it does come up. So this is part of why sadness, loss, and regret, this Five of Cups is coming up for you. Some of you took on a relationship too fast or a job too fast or made some promises too fast and now you may have some difficulty coping with it and maybe regretting doing so. That's another energy coming up with the Five of Cups. The next card you have here is the Hermit. And the Hermit is a card that's showing me that you have spiritual guidance. You're getting, your spirit guides are lighting the way. They're showing you the path to go and the way to follow. The Hermit could also be you stepping back and taking a stock of the situation, getting a lay of the land before you proceed forward. That's also possible. You know, I feel like there's some kind of karmic thing happening for some of the cancers out there where things are hitting the fan all at once. Like, you know, and I've had that happen to me in my life a couple times. Um, one time it was like one thing right after the other. It was a lot. And this is like, Sometimes that's overwhelming, but the one good thing about that is you're kind of getting it over with in one fell swoop instead of it being a slow drip of stuff. But I do feel some of you uh, cancers are going to have a lot of things go on, a lot of things hit the fan at once for you. I see, I'm hearing the words justifiable income. You're going to be spending money to make money, spending money to make money and spending money to make money. They said it to me three times. So I feel like there's going to be expenses and things that you're going to be doing where money is going out. But I feel like you get money that comes back into you or you needed to spend the money to make more money. So that's also coming up with a hermit. You know, some of you are going to be at work and somebody's getting reprimanded and people are dropping like flies at some of you. Not all of you, but I see like people, a lot of people getting fired. Like, I don't know if new management has come in or a new boss or there's some shift, but I see like, yeah, well, you're out of here. And what's your scoop? I don't like you. What's your story? You're gone too. So I don't feel like it's going to happen to you because they're not saying, oh, cancer, be prepared. Although they are saying some things are happening, uh, hitting the fan at once. But I do see you witnessing uh, some people getting fired or uh, they're saying people dropping like flies, like this one's going to leave, that one's going to leave. And again, it could go back to pa people passing away, uh, but it feels more, that comment right there felt more to me like a work situation where uh, they're cleaning house or they're downsizing or new management or new ownership came in and they want to weed the garden, so to speak, you know, something like that. Don't listen to the gossip that gets spread through the mill uh, at your place of work or in family or social situations because some of it's not accurate or it's made up. It's either made up or inaccurate. So please try not to, and they, they said that you could get sucked into it. So beware of that kind of gossip. So I hope these messages were of help to you, Cancer. Now on to the sign of Leo. And the first card you have, Leo, is the Three of Swords. Now, the Three of Swords is um, a card that sometimes can be called the Divorce card. This could be some kind of sadness or heartbreak that's happening uh, in your life. I mean, it's not a positive card, but we have to see what my guides say because I don't always go by what the, uh, I don't go by book definitions of cards. There is some kind of unity that's getting splitting apart. Uh, like I get unity splitting apart. 
There could be a breakup of a family happening here. It could be a family you're in, intertwined with, like your spouse, your kids. But it could also be uh, somebody in your family, like a sibling or your parents or, you know, I don't know, somebody else. But, like, it's family. A splitting up of a family is being mentioned. At least that's the first message of this card. For some of you, you're going to hear of a betrayal where someone was cheating or stepping out on, you know, their partner. Again, now some of you, Leos, this may be you. It may be happening to you. But for some of you, this Three of Swords could be, like I said, maybe you have a son or a daughter and their significant other has cheated on them. Or you're very close with your sister or brother and their significant other has stepped out and cheated on them. Or, you know, in somehow, it's, it's coming up uh, in your life and you're going to look at it, hear of it, face it, confront it and deal with it in either August or could carry over into, if you don't see it in August, it could occur in September. A once in a lifetime opportunity is going to come by Leo and is going to give some kind of boost up to your finances. So don't be surprised if somebody offers you some amazing deal uh, especially also if you're trying to sell something. I got to say that, like if you want to sell your home or a boat or a car or some computer program or your business or whatever you do, um, you could get a once in a lifetime opportunity of a buyer that wants to buy it. But it could also be maybe you have some really great uh, gift or talent or specialty that you do and somebody in a power position is recognizing it and they want to give you an opportunity of a lifetime. It could also be something like that. It doesn't just have to be a sale of something. There's like somebody rubbing somebody the wrong way and anger going on between people in a family. This could be like maybe your sister, maybe you have a sister-in-law or a brother-in-law that's an irritant or they're irritated by something. It doesn't necessarily have to be just at you. So think on that, Leo. Uh, the next card you have is the chariot. And the chariot, you could be divided in two different directions, getting pulled in two different directions here, and having to make a decision or a choice between two things. Two loves, two jobs, two ways of living, two places to live, uh, two, two relationships. I mean, it could be a lot of things. Uh, this card can also mean long-distance travel to me and um, sometimes it can mean success. You're working out new details and new arrangements with people either you work with or that are around you in your sphere of your life. Some of you are selling something and buying something new. Some of you are selling a property and buying or building a bigger home. That's for some of you Leos, not for all of you. You are kind of thinking about, I have to listen to people and respect people more because you've had somebody tell you that you don't do that. I hear you saying somebody is pointing something out to you in that way, like, hey, Leo, you don't respect people or you, you just don't listen to people. And for some reason, you might normally combat that and say, no way, I'm not like that. Screw you. But for some reason, Leo, I feel like you're thinking on it and thinking that maybe you do need to listen a little more or have a little more respect for people by listening to them more. I don't know it's what's coming up. Don't get mad at me that that's the message. I'm just passing it along. They're also saying stop thinking about tomorrow and deal with today. I feel like there's something that you keep worrying about or thinking about for the future, the future, the future, the future. And it's like either something that you're going around and around in circles about or that you're champing at the bit because you can't wait for it to get there, but it's in the future. And they're saying you need to focus on uh, more on what's going on right now and today and deal with that more. Don't futurize too much because they're acting like some of you Leos are projecting your energy out too much into the future. And it's kind of like it's unproductive in the sense like it's spinning wheels and you need to contend with and deal with some things that are going on right now. 
So I hope those messages helped you, Leo. Uh, please stay tuned to the beginning of the month of September because those readings will be much longer. This is just the abbreviated reading of the mid-month update. So now onto the sign of Virgo. And the first card you have, Virgo, is the moon. This could be a card symbolic of illusion. It could also be secrecy and deception and romance. It could also be secrecy by itself, romance by itself. It can also be a card that's saying you have your psychic ability and psychic intuition is getting elevated and raised. I see you focusing on trying to accumulate wealth and abundance. I also see you feeling like something possibly to do with a relationship of some sort is making you feel very unsure and uncertain, especially towards the end of August. I feel like you feel like you can't get your bearings, like you're either your head's up in the clouds or you've got lofty ideas and lofty plans that you feel like you might not be able to quite get there and materialize. That was a little confusing. I would listen to that again because I don't think I could repeat it to you. I also hear there's simpatico beneath the surface. Time's ticking here. I feel like there's somebody in your life you are very simpatico with. It could be a friend. It could be a lover. It could be a spouse. It could be anybody. But I really feel this is more about love or relationships like romantic relationships because I get time is ticking here. And uh, for me to get the way it's coming up to me, it's like it could be your biological clock ticking. Or maybe you feel like why is this taking so long? Something needs to progress more. Time is ticking. This could be with I feel first and foremost like it's in love. Secondly, I'm going to say it's work, but it's something that you feel like you're kind of anxious about, the t about time, you're noticing timing, and you're feeling like something is taking maybe too long or is taking longer than what it should. Word of mouth, gossip, not trusting people, too many things are being generated and said. Uh, you may feel like you're dealing with stupid people or unreliable people or inept people in anything you hire them for. Like anybody, if you've hired them to build something for you or do work around the house or, you know, as an assistant or at your place of business or employment and you're the one hiring them. I feel like you feel like you don't trust them. There's too many inept people. Uh, they're not doing their job right, or I don't know, it comes up. I, you got to figure out how that applies to you, Virgo. Next card you have is Strength. Sounds like you're going to need Strength. Look, you had two major Arcana cards, now the Moon, now Strength. This is spiritual power over the material world. This is having courage and strength over adversity. It could be dealing with a Leo because the woman is, um, you know, holding the lion's head in her hand. So you could be uh, also connected to or dealing with a Leo here. There's a lot of vitality and energy drained for some reason for you Virgos in August. It may have already been happening in July and it could roll forward into September for some of you because I get like you feel good, then you feel out of balance or you're not feeling that great. And then you feel good and then you're seesawing back and forth between that. Um, this could be physically or and or emotionally speaking on this seesaw. I feel like you're going through some struggles of a division going on inside of yourself or a division of property of an estate or a division in a divorce settlement or some kind of settlement. Um, I feel sometimes, I'm not going to lie to you Virgo, I feel like it's a little difficult at times because I see you feeling like you're struggling with it a little bit or feeling a little melancholy over this division, whatever it is. You may start seeking out advice or counseling from others or other people. Uh, you could even be reaching out to people online and getting their opinions about some kind of situation or some task that needed to get done or reviews on 
you know, a contractor or a plumber or a re reviews on people online or um, getting advice from people or referrals or recommendations also comes up for you Virgos looking into that, seeking it, delving into it and dissecting that and some focus in those areas in August and for some of you it's still going to carry over into September so I guess this is going to have to marshal, you're going to have to have strength to do this because this is the strength card. Some of you may feel like there's something you don't want to do anymore and you may feel like you're teetering on the brink of insanity or depression. I'm not saying that lightly. I don't mean literal insanity. I mean like, you know, too much. It's overwhelming. It's like, you know, too much to you. Because I see some of you feeling like, I don't want to do this anymore. And like you're teetering on like quitting or leaving a love relationship or not doing something anymore. Because I feel it's uh, depleting your energy or it's messing with your mind or playing with your emotions. So just think on that, Virgo. Please stay tuned to the beginning of September and see what the, you know, three times as long tarot reading will bring for you then. So on to the sign of Libra. And the first card here for you, Libra, for this mid-month of August is the Seven of Swords. And this is somebody stealing something from you or deceiving you. I feel that some of you Libras are going through a bit of a stir or a struggle with some people or things in your life where you're saying what's real and what's not. It could even be about religion or beliefs, uh, but it could be with how what people are saying to you. Uh, you may be in question of it in August going into September. I see you feeling like you can't trust somebody or you can't believe them, like there's something shady going on either in your family or with a loved one or, or even could be at work or could be even social. I mean, it's a general reading Libra, so I can't really pinpoint exactly where that's going to come up for you. But um, you're going to want some more uh, details and more clarifications on some things from some people, especially the people that you're feeling like you can't really trust or you're having some issues with trust about in uh, this month of August. You may even feel like there's a plot or plan of s with somebody that wants to take something from you. But I feel like it could even be like maybe somebody wants to try to steal your job and you can feel it. Or maybe there's somebody like a friend of yours and you know they're after your girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, like, or husband or wife. It, you know, you know they're after them. Because I get like you feeling like there's some kind of plot, plan, or scheme that you don't fully trust and you're psychic intuition and your psychic abilities are really kicking up strong about it so make sure you pay attention to them Libra and um, don't slough it off and ignore it because then you end up going oh man I knew I was right about that or I should have paid attention to what I was feeling about that because you're right on the money your suspicions are correct is what I'm hearing so you, uh, you know, I, I've gotten some contentious stuff for the mid-month. Uh, I don't like to see that with signs as much as I'm seeing, but these eclipses could be kicking this up, uh, the eclipses in August. I see contention in your family or you arguing with some people or being at odds or across purposes with some people. It doesn't have to be family. It could be some other situation. But I get like this anger or angst or struggles going on for some of you Libras. Now, conversely here, look, you have this great card. you got the sun. And the sun is the spotlight being on you, uh, success in the material world. It can also mean you uh, feeling happiness and joy like you did when you were a kid. Sometimes the sun comes up when uh, about love, things to do with love, a love relationship coming in. Some of you are going to say, I'm going to travel. I'm going to take off and get out of here. I'm out of here. I see you thinking that you need some rest and relaxation and that you need to do some things that revitalize your soul. So some of you may, and I also see you dropping some people 
or disconnecting with some people like it could be temporary temporarily like you're like I just need to get away from them for two weeks uh, but there could be some people that you're like examining and you're saying you know what they're not trustworthy or they're causing me some consternation and, and confusion in my life or they've been troublesome to me I'm not going to be dealing with them anymore some of you may be you know unfriending some people let's put it that way some of you that have really been wishing or waiting for something that you really really wanted to come true for you like a new love relationship or especially a new job I feel that you're gonna get it I feel like a, especially job opportunities new love or new job is gonna come up but it's it's like something you wanted it's not just like oh randomly it drops in you've been like praying for it or wishing for it or wanting it to happen and lo and behold here it comes it's going to come to fruition for you so you do get some benefits and blessings from this eclipse and I do feel you're getting your biggest blessings from the solar eclipse on the 21st I also see some Libras really starting to spoil themselves getting some facials getting uh, you know seaweed wraps or getting uh, you know massages or uh, you know buying some new clothes or some things that you like because I see you feeling like you know what I've been through too much or I've been going through so much it's time for me to treat myself or pamper myself I see some of you Libras thinking that way and rightly you should uh, do that do so so I hope these messages were of help to you Libra now on to the sign of Scorpio and the first of the two cards you have Scorpio for this mid month of August is the Hierophant and the Hierophant is God giving you blessings or a warning it could also indicate higher education and higher learning you could be the student or you could be the teacher I feel that Scorpios are going to start getting really driven to succeed and I see you putting a lot of money down on the table and I feel that some of you are doing this because it's a, like um, you could be putting money down on the table to invest in a business a capital for a business you want to own um, it could also be putting money down on the table like a purchase you want to buy uh, but I see you getting like feeling really driven really serious so whatever it is that you're putting this money down on the table about you're dead serious about it and you do want to succeed or elevate yourself in some way with your status or with your job or have your own business or you want a new house I don't know what it is but you're laying your money down on the table some of you may say there's too much commotion and too much confusion here I need to leave and start over somewhere else some of you may feel like you want to move from where you are like I don't like this uh, province or state or city anymore there's nothing here for me or you feel like it's gotten too backwards or there's not enough job opportunities and you want to go further and you want to succeed so some of you I see you saying I'm moving away from here um, I'm getting out of here it could be like you could be at a job situation where you feel like there's nothing there more for you or you know you've exhausted and extracted all you can really get out of it and now it's time to pack it up move on and go somewhere else because again I'm going to repeat myself it comes up very strongly that uh, in mid August and probably from these eclipses you're going to be quite success driven you may be that way all the time Scorpio but it is coming up here in this reading any injustices in any court cases or legal battles or disputes over a settlement or like uh, discrepancies with a disability claim or some other kind of workman's compensation or anything like that it will be settled and become fair so listen to that again I listed quite a few things there it wasn't just one thing it was several things something that was unjust for you is now going to be settled and made fair and it has to do with legal stuff claims or you know things that didn't pan out the, in the manner in which they should now the second card you have here for mid-august Scorpio you have the five of swords and this is standing your ground drawing a line in the sand standing up against any naysayers or detractor gossipers naysayers or detractors you're standing your ground you're standing up for yourself um, 
and drawn a line in the sand in some way. I see you thinking like, I really got to keep things secret and quiet and close to my vest. I can't let everybody know what it is I'm doing. So there's definitely some shifts and changes and things you've got in the works that you know if you let the cat out of the bag too early, there will be people that will either undermine it, try to thwart you from doing it, or just rain on your parade and be too negative about it or try to talk you out of it. So I see you thinking, I got to keep my business close to my vest. What's going on with me? I'm not going to be sharing out to you know, all these people because it'll backfire or the results won't won't be good for you if you do if you uh, decide to talk about it some of you are going to be purchasing a recreational vehicle and buying something that would be for fun so this could be a jet ski it could be a snowmobile it could be a jeep or some kind of off-road vehicle like uh, you know some type of motorcycle or dirt bike or something like that but I do get some of you Scorpios putting some money down on a recreational vehicle. It could be a camper or a big um, RV or something like that. You are going to feel, some of you Scorpios are going to feel like there's been too much bullying going on or too much harassment. And you want to step in and put a stop to it. Now, some of this could be coming at you from coworkers or bosses or, you know, friends and social situations. But um, it could be you're witnessing it happening to other people and you get angry and you want to step in and put a stop to it. So some of the bullying or whatever this is could have been coming at you, but it could be coming at other people and you're, you're not approving of it. You're disapproving and you want to put a stop to it either way, whether it's coming to you or someone else. I feel like some of you Scorpios are letting little things bother you. There's somebody that may be needling you and doing this kind of stuff to you purposely to get under your skin and to get a reaction out of you. So think on that, Scorpio. This could be somebody in your family or a close friend or somebody you work with or it could even be a spouse or a lover. That, that, But like, I feel like if you feel like you're getting needled, or somebody like saying undercutting you or underhanded things that seem like double meaning stuff or stuff to get your goat and get you worked up. You're right. They are doing it. So you are going to be looking at that and confronting it. And again, you'll have the option here whether you want to put a stop to it or not. So please stay tuned for the beginning of the month of September, Scorpio, because uh, those readings are longer they're three times as long at the beginning of the month. This is just the little update. So I hoped it helped you. Now on to the sign of Sagittarius. And the first of the two cards you have, <clears throat> Sagittarius, is the Eight of Wands. This is either news coming to you swiftly. It could be swift and sudden change. Or this could also mean travel. And the news could be coming to you in any way, like through the through the phone, through the internet, through text message, through email. Could be messages or news coming to you in a, in a variety of ways. I feel there's a great deal of pressure being put on you by you that you feel like kind of in a worry, a little bit of a panic, or a little bit stressed out, like you have to figure something out. Like, there's something you don't like trust, know, have the full story, don't know the right picture, or you feel like maybe it's a computer program or maybe it's something you need to figure out for work and you're like, oh my God, I don't know how to figure this out. I need to do it. And I feel like time is of the essence here. You feel the crunch or pressure of time around this situation. <laughs> You may feel like you can't control yourself too much in mid to late August and that you want to blurt things out and say things to others. Like, you you know, I know sometimes that can happen with Sagittarians. Um, so I don't know. I don't want to say, oh, don't do it. I don't know whether you should or shouldn't do it or whether it would benefit you or not. I just see you blurting things out and maybe the thing I guess I want to mention here is I'm not sure you really want to do it it's like you can't help yourself from doing it so think about that 
someone may invite you <clears throat> to take some time off and to go on a retreat. This could be a spiritual retreat, it could be a religious retreat, it could be like a camping in the mountains, go out hiking kind of retreat. Uh, I mean, retreat can mean many things. You could be going to a spa retreat even, you know, uh, or a yoga retreat or, you know, anything. But I do get somebody inviting you to go with them to a retreat. They're going and they're inviting you or asking you if you want to go along. I feel like it's going to take you by surprise and you're going to think about it and try to figure out and work it out if you can do it. And I feel many of you, not all of you, but I do feel many of you will do it or figure out a way to do it. So these are the messages coming up off of the Eight of Wands. Now here you have the Four of Cups, which is ruminating, going within, looking at the past, pulling at straws. You could also feel like um, you know, like a little sad about the past, even in some cases, like wistful thinking about the past. This card can also mean that you could be getting uh, an opportunity presented to you in some manner. Uh, so don't get too sucked into to the other Four of Cup energy. Pay attention to the opportunity or blessing that's coming to you. Some of you may have a Capricorn that either steals something from you or says or talks badly about you in some way that you overhear or find out about or come to know about. But I feel it, not all of you is it going to be a Capricorn. It could be a Capricorn sun, moon, or rising sign person. But Capricorn is being mentioned here of somebody that's either stabbing you in the back, betraying you, or talking to, about you behind your back. Or, or, or just is saying negative things or comments. So you could have some consternation with a Capricorn. Some, some of you are going to get some deal that gets offered to you and puts down right in front of you. And I do feel you're going to snap it up because uh, I hear it's red hot like a tamale and you're going to snap it up and it's going to be a boost or an increase to your finances. So this could be some like contracting work or some subcontracting work or some kind of gig that you're going to do or some other kind of opportunity that's definitely going to bring you some increases to your finances. You know, it's weird. Some of you, not all of you Sagittarians, but some of you have some jealous people around you that are envious or a little jealous of you, and they would like to take you down or see you struggle or see you suffer a little bit. You do have some envious people around some of you. Some of you may be aware of this already, but some of you may not really realize that. Especially if it's somebody that asks you for things, and then they go turn around and gossip about you after they've already, like, they come to you like, I get two-faced. Let's just call it two-faced. They're nice to your face. They ask you for something or they're complimentary to you. They want to borrow money from you or get information from you or, you know, wisdom from you or whatever you are sharing with them. And then they take it with a smile and then they turn around behind your back and then they're dogging you and saying some unnecessary things. Um... I feel some of you Sagittarians will find out about this, but I don't feel you find out about it now. I feel it's something you find out later, possibly around the time of your birthday, because I get like Christmas time, December, like I feel that's when you find out about it. You may not be aware of it at the time it's going on, so I just wanted to give you the heads up about that. So hope that those messages were some kind of help to you. Now on to the sign of Capricorn. And the first of the two cards you have, Capricorn, is the Seven of Pentacles. And this to me is being tired and exhausted of your hard work and efforts, but gaining financial gain and rewards from your hard work and efforts. Sometimes it's like you're focusing on your money or your job, or you're worrying about money or your job. It can also come up that way too. I feel that many of you Capricorns are getting invited to attend a social gathering. And I feel like it's big news. Like this isn't like nothing. This is something. This is something that's got some importance to it. You're going to seize the day. And I do see you turning some kind of project or plan. It's like you get an idea 
and it becomes bigger than what the idea originally started out as. So I see you having an idea and turning it into a project or plan, but it actually ends up becoming much bigger or much larger or much more involved and expansive than what your original idea was. Someone's going to offer you a job or someone's going to come to you like a talent scout or an agent and or a headhunter. Anyone at like, you know, any one of those people that could be like looking for talent, looking for uh, somebody that knows what they're doing with a job, like I said, a headhunter. It's either a talent scout, an agent, or a headhunter. Somebody's going to come to you. They see a lot of potential in you and they want you to develop and grow with their company or they want you to take something that's already happening and develop it and grow it more expansively. Uh, that's the energy circling around this Seven of Pentacles card for you. I see you looking at some documents or papers or protocols and saying you want it to be changed and reorganized differently or written down differently and because I get you want it in writing. So you're not just going to go with, oh yeah, we'll handshake and agree. No, no. You want something in writing, but I see it's like something needs to be reordered, reorganized, restructured, changed, and you want that put down in writing or documented so that it's something that has to continue that way and will be followed in that manner. Some of you may be changing courses, changing jobs, uh, changing residence, like changing from one thing to another comes up a lot here also for you in mid-August going into September. Here you have the Magician. This is the card of the Manifester, what you think about, you bring about, and having all the tools in front of you to manifest what you want. You're going to have somebody that comes in and, again, I'm repeating myself, but sees your remarkable ability or talent. Could even be somebody comes in and sees that you are remarkable and wants to be in a love relationship with you too. But it's you being recognized for being remarkable in either your smarts, your talents, your looks, or your personality and love or all the th whole thing all together. So for some of you, this is like a great opportunity of a job or a new business or a new love or something, but it's it's like you're getting acknowledged, you're getting recognized, you're getting appreciated, you're getting um, the green light and go on anything you want to do um, or work on or further or advance also comes up through this card. If you were a Capricorn that had to release some funds, it's the funds are coming back to you. So maybe it's like you had to spend money to make money. That's what they say, right? Or you loaned money out to people. Now you're getting it paid back with interest. Or, you know, it's like any money that's gone out, either through you lending it or spending it, for whatever the reason, you've got money coming back into you. So it's like a wave. It came out, now it's coming back in. Some of you are going to feel like you can't believe how inept people are being, and I hear the words martial law. You may actually be, like if you're a boss, or you're higher up and you have, you're a superior over some other people, you may be like, what is going on with these people? They're not doing the right thing, or they're not following protocol, or productivity is down, or, and, or sales are low, or whatever it is, and... Uh, you're putting down like martial law, like, you know, this is the way it's going to roll. This is what we're going to do. And this is the way we're going to do it. And we're not going to do this anymore. And we're not going to do that anymore. And you may even end up, if you have the ability to hire and fire people, there's some people you may actually be firing and letting go. Uh, but you also may conversely be hiring some new people. If you let them go, you may bring in new people. But I see you becoming very dogmatic and dictatorial about some systems or the way things are rolling. And it doesn't have to be just work. Maybe you're looking at an elderly relative in a nursing home and you're like, 
uh, you know, your siblings aren't helping out or they're not going visiting or they're not doing your parents' laundry and you're doing all this other stuff. Whatever it is, you're laying down the law and martial law and you're saying how things are going to be. So that comes up here for you, Capricorns. So I hope these messages helped you, Capricorn. Please be sure to watch the beginning of the month of September when I post my uh, psychic tarot reading for each sign of the zodiac for September 2017 because it's three times as long, at least three times as long, if not longer, than these mid-month updates. So thank you for watching. I hope that helped you. Now on to Aquarius. And the first card you have, Aquarius, is the Fool. And this is starting out on a new path and a new journey with high hopes and high aspirations. Um, but you have to be grounded and not let your head get caught up in the clouds because you don't want to fall off the cliff. You need to be grounded in reality. But it usually is some kind of new path or new journey. Get ready because you have a lot of things to do or that you will be having to do soon. You can't rest on your laurels anymore about anything. It's like you got to get the lead out and get things going. There's a, you're you're going to feel like, I feel like time is of the essence and there's going to be some pressure put on you about like, you're going to become really very busy. I feel if you've had like some lulls or relaxing times uh, in the past or like any kind of... Uh, lulls it's your things are getting ready to get amped up and start revving up for you Aquarius I see Aquarius looking over the fine print and the details of documents and anything in writing I also am seeing you focusing on getting everything in alignment getting everything right getting things set up straightened out organized all those adjectives come up here for you with this full card you know, but yet also on the other hand, I see you feeling like you're letting yourself go and being free. So you may feel like you've been penned in, trapped, restricted, not having enough freedom or free flowing activity. I see you letting yourself go and being more free. Now, this could be emotionally speaking, Aquarius. Maybe you're going to start letting yourself be more free emotionally. So I'm getting like a weird duality here. On one hand, I feel you're going to be looking at the details and you're focusing on uh, every little thing and getting things right and getting things in order and structuring things and getting things in alignment, which does not sound free. And then on the other hand, I also hear you're actually going to become more free, but it could be free in a different sense. Like I said, this could be more free with your words, more free with your speech, more free with emotions. Uh, that's coming up here with the Fool. So the second card you have here, Aquarius, for this mid-month of August update, you have the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups could be a water sign, male or female. This could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio, sun sign, rising sign, or moon sign. You're going to have your day in the sun. You're finally going to get recognized or appreciated for you, for who you are, or for something that you're doing, working on, own, talent, or a business, or a skill. Or So you're going to get some kind of recognition or acknowledgement um, there's going to be a great deal of stress. This you got another mixed up one because I feel there's going to be a great deal of stress relieved because of all that, but it's also going to be stressful as well. So you get it's like a double-edged sword. You get that's positive, and you get like ah, you're relaxed, and you get this sense of freedom and acknowledgement. It boosts your ego, it boosts your spirits, but then it also is creating stress in you at the same time. You might get invited to talk at a luncheon or a dinner or a roast or a seminar or a church or a gathering uh, because I get some of you getting invited to attend something where you would be asked to speak. Whether you're actually going to do it or not, I don't know. It depends on 
you Aquarians who's going to do it and who's not going to do it. Some of you will, some of you won't. I get this feeling like many of you Aquarians feel like you've been on some kind of mission and that you will feel like you've succeeded. You will have accomplished your goals or some mission or purpose or thing that you set out to do. You will feel like you've achieved it. This could be a new business venture. It could be a new job. It could be somebody maybe you want to get attached to and you've wanted to achieve like a relationship with someone or, you know, maybe you're in a relationship already and you want to expand. Your goal is to become closer or whatever. You're going to feel like you've achieved some goal here in August. Um, also, if there was anything that you released to the public for a public consumption, public purchase, public opinion, and I feel if you dropped it in the past or if you decide to drop it now, it's going to get picked back up again. Something that was out there that you were doing or wanting to have happen or was offered you or something that you were working on, if it dropped it gets picked back up again. So I hope these messages helped you, Aquarius. Please stay tuned at the beginning of the month of September because my psychic tarot readings for each sign of the zodiac at the beginning of the month is always longer. It's three to four times long as this little update. So on to the sign of Pisces. And the first card you have of the two Pisces is the king of wands so this would be a fire sign male could be a female this would either be leo aries or sagittarius that could be their sun sign their rising sign or their moon sign i feel like some of you pisces are getting involved with this king of wands whether it's a friendship whether it's a business partnership or whether it's love you're getting involved with them somehow some of you may have a great deal of uncertainty about what you want from this relationship. Keep in mind, I'm not saying it's love for all of you. Some of you, it's a business partnership or a co-creating partnership in some way. So I get some of you are not sure um, what you want to do with it. You're, you've got some confusion about it. If there was an agreement that was severed or broken you two that you had with this King of Wands before, you two may reunite and rejoin that again. So if it was severed, if you were in a relationship and it broke up, or if you were in a business partnership and it broke up, I feel that you're going to, uh, it's going to come back together again for some of you. You're going to be revisiting it. You may have some issues of a communication breakdown uh, with this King of Wands. And, you know, we are in Mercury in retrograde from September 12th to, I'm sorry, August 12th to September 5th. And that can stir up uh, issues with communication. And I have to say, personally, I was experiencing the Mercury in retrograde effects uh, two weeks before, even longer out, three weeks before we were anywhere near it. So even in the shadow phase. So it, this is a powerful, uh, I feel for me anyway, Mercury in retrograde this time. You may need their approval or their backing. Because I see some of you looking at this King of Wands like you want to stable your forces or your income through them. Um, or in affiliation with them and you would like to have their finances or backing comes up. So now I'm going to look at your second card, Pisces, and here you have the Four of Pentacles, which is the Miser card holding on protectively to your finances and anything of value. Uh, it can also mean financial success coming to you in the future. Some of you may feel like you have a great deal of um, family mat matters, pressing on you or like you feel like causing some disruption for you. I also see if you have any concerns about your finances or if you feel like your finances are in jeopardy, I see you managing to figure out a way to boost them up or to keep them afloat. 
I see some of you Pisces very cognizant of that you know everything costs uh, money and that you may feel like you want to cut down on your expenses uh, cutting cutting down cutting corners cutting costs on expenditures some of you may because some of you may be leasing a car or leasing a property or signing some kind of papers or agreement on a purchase of something like it could be some big equipment and you're going to start your own business and you need this big truck or this big equipment to do the work that you need for your job and, and maybe you're going to lease it or purchase it um, because I see some of you Pisces looking at something it could be a home or a business you want to buy or something where you're going to have some expense coming up, which is why I feel you're actually really looking at, I got to cut down on my spending. I got to find ways to make my bills less. Um, I need to, is some of you Pisces, it's like you're revamping, revising and revamping the model of your, that is which your life and that you're going to be doing it through branching out selling more products branching out in your knowledge and education branching out in your job duties and descriptions that you know how to do already and your skills um, it, it, how you're branching out isn't going to be the same for all of you Pisces every one of you is going to be doing it in a different manner if you feel like there's some big financial expenditure that comes up and you've been saving your money or building up your money and then it all you have to spend a lot of it on this venture business lease whatever it is it, it is going to come back to you this is just a temporary condition so try not to worry too much about any big expenses that you may find you incur or that are necessary to progress maybe you want to go back to school and expand your knowledge and you know school costs money uh, or you want to start your own business and you need to buy some equipment or a certain uh, clothes you need to wear or uniforms or things and you have to purchase it but it's all going to be in the name of expansion of what you're doing um, so I hope this reading was of help to you and I certainly hope it made sense for all the signs of the zodiac out there I'd like to uh, take a moment right here to say please stay tuned at the beginning of every month for my new show my new podcast series called the psychic pastry chef where I'm going to show you how to make great cakes desserts and pastries that you can make at home and impress your family and friends and I'm going to give you psychic messages for each sign of the zodiac while doing so so please stay tuned for that i'd also like to make another uh, a little uh, announcement here if you're interested in getting the special vimeo videos that i recorded for the eclipses for this month of august 2017 and how these two eclipses are going to affect each sign of the zodiac for the next six months where I'm using three tarot cards plus the crystal you can access these videos for the effects of the eclipses of August 2017 for each sign of the zodiac psychic crystal psychic tarot and crystal readings for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for those videos also you can get my psychic crystal readings for the month of august 2017 they're also available on there as well you can also go to my website www.theluckymermaid.com go to page 11 on my videos tab on my menu is a drop down menu go to videos page 11 and you will see the headings for these videos there you just click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on vimeo I want to thank you so much for watching, sharing, and liking my videos. Thank you for subscribing and for subscribing and for Google Plusing. I do truly appreciate that. And please be sure to subscribe. That way you'll get notified when I upload any of my videos here on YouTube. I wish you all the amazing 
happiness, wealth, abundance, peace, and great times, and many blessings and peace.